Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the 300 million download celebration is officially over and we just got the details for the next celebration coming to JP. And I gotta say, just taking a quick scroll through it, it's looking pretty freaking good. So um, unfortunately, I don't know what the celebration is called since I can't read Japanese here, but uh, I do really like the art for the Kid Krillin and the Kid Goku. So there's that. And without further ado, guys, let's take a look at what's going on here. So first things first, at the very top, we have, I believe that is the login bonus. And next up, we do have the return of the Hercules uh, present campaign or whatever you want to call it, where like every single day when you log in, Hercule uh, gives you a present and it could be anywhere between one to seven stones and I think possibly Kai's and all that stuff. So that's really nice. And this lasts between, let's see, it looks like the 10th of October to the 21st of October. So for about two weeks or two and a half weeks, something like that. So that's nice. And then uh, this is the missions, I believe, special missions for, well, special and daily missions for this campaign. And then next up, we have the Dokkan Fest for the new Int Future Gohan, as well as the Tech Future Trunks. And uh, I do plan to do a showcase for both these guys in a in a minute. I mean, maybe in a couple hours, maybe in a day or so, depending on what like my schedule looks like. But uh, honestly, I know that a lot of people are not super excited for this guy, especially after seeing some of his details and his links and stuff like that. But I feel like he is being very, very underrated at the moment, and uh, I'm sure we'll see that in the showcase when, whenever that happens. But yeah, there's the Dokkan Fest right there, and then we also have a category summon for, uh, I believe it's the Master and Pupil or Master and Student category that is being added to the game with this new Gohan. And then we have a Dragonstone sale, pretty standard there. And uh, we have the Dokkan Festival, or sorry, the Dokkan event for the new Int Gohan. And the revamp for the future Gohan and future Trunks story event where all the stones are being reset. So even if you guys did complete the uh, full story in the past, which a lot of people who have been playing for a while now have, right? Uh, it is getting reset. So all the stones are going to be available again. And of course, they're adding the new uh, physical, no, the Tech 17 and STR 18. Yeah, I think it's Tech Future 17 and uh, STR Android 18. Both of them are getting Dokkan Awakenings as well at launch, and they are really freaking good, guys. Like, two of the best free to play units I've ever seen. Um, so, that's pretty exciting. And also, a Dokkan Awakening for the SR uh, Physical Future Gohan as well. So, uh, that's pretty exciting too. And we also have the return of this story event, the return of the Universe 6 story event, the return of this story event, a couple of basically uh, Universe Survival Saga or Tournament of Power stories are coming back, and yeah, all these Universe 6 stuff, all the Dragon Ball Super stuff, and we also have this event here, um, I think it's going to be available every single day, the uh, Tech Trunks Dokkan event. Now I might be a little bit off about some details for a few of these things because I'm not super used to reporting on JP news and obviously it would help a lot if I could read Japanese but unfortunately I can't. I really wish I could man. Maybe I should start learning just for Dokkan videos and stuff man. Just start learning how to read Japanese and translate it and stuff like that. But you know what? At this time, at this point in time, I can't translate it so uh, just keep that in mind as you're going through this video, alright? So we have the Tech Trunks event, I believe that's available every single day, and the return of the um, the Father-Son Gallic Gun event, uh, Extreme Z Battle event that is, for the uh, Tech Vegeta, as well as the Physical Trunks, and we also have the Elder Kai banner, which uh, is going to be available, it looks like, uh, let's see... Looks like there's two periods. I'm really sure, not really sure what that's about, but from what I've heard, it's gonna be basically 50 stones for 10 Elder Kai's, and you can pull on it twice. So uh, maybe like that's the two periods when it'll be available or something like that. But I think it's gonna be a reoccurring thing. Like every month it resets where uh, you can get up to 20 Elder Kai's for 100 stones. And if you guys really need Kai's, it's not a terrible deal, but um, I personally would not recommend summoning on it because we do get a fair amount of Kai's just from like logins and missions and various campaigns and stuff like that but if you guys are really needing those kai's right now for certain lrs or something like that um it's not a bad deal like i said okay now we also have a uh, twitter campaign here for some more free stones i'm sure i haven't really looked into the details but uh you know social media campaigns are always good social media campaigns are always always good okay and we have uh it looks like the 
I'm not sure what number. This says 19. So is this the 19th um, Dokkan Battlefield? That seems a little bit high, no? I don't really know. I, I know Global is on like number 10 or 12 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, maybe this is the 19th. Okay, it doesn't matter what the number is. Basically, another Dokkan Battlefield, which means more stones. Um, we also have an Extreme Z area, it looks like, for the... I, I think this is actually the Int free-to-play trunks from the story event up here, the uh, fight against the spare, you know, the revamp story event right here. So I believe you can get that future trunks in the story event, and then I'm thinking this is the Extreme Z area right here, or Extreme Z... Yeah, it looks like Extreme Z area, because it looks very similar to the one we just got for uh, Goku and Gohan and Vegeta and Trunks. So yeah, people might be a little bit upset about this one as well because obviously um, if we're going by what just happened with the other Extreme Z area, this one might be a bit restrictive as well, but uh, we'll wait for details before we you know, talk any further about that because I don't want to give any false information. But it looks like we are getting an Extreme Z Awakening for the Int um, Physical... Int Physical... The Int Future Trunks from the Future Gohan and Future Trunks story event. And also the legendary campaign, guys, for LR Vegito Blue. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I actually don't have him, of course, on my JP account because I recently just started playing again. And uh, I gotta say, I'm hyped. I'm definitely gonna be farming this one. Probably gonna be doing a stream of some kind to uh, make it a little bit less painful. I mean, either way, it's gonna be painful. But if I, str if I do it with you guys, it might be... A little bit more enjoyable so uh, look forward to that for sure legendary campaign free stones free kai's all those good things all right and we also have some more oh it looks like these are the weekend missions actually so it looks like uh for one weekend between the 12th and 14th we're gonna have some missions to get some stones uh get some sleepy kai's and that stuff i'll take it and also the uh looks like the dokkan oh oh okay so Bit of a spoiler here. Uh, we got we got a Extreme Z uh, Awakening, Extreme Z Battle Banner, and also a Category Banner. Um, but this is for the Extreme Z Awakening for Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku. So this guy is finally getting an Extreme Z Awakening, guys. Uh, people have been talking about it for like literally over a year, I think. We've been talking about a Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Extreme Z Awakening, and now it's finally happening, starting on the 15th. And uh, that's that's huge, guys. I can't wait to see some more details. Obviously, I don't know anything about what he's gonna do or what he's gonna look like, but um, it's long overdue. Long, long overdue. So very, very, very hyped for that one right there. Uh, also, the return of the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks Extreme Z battle, um, and also his uh, I believe this is the Dokkan event. Yes, Dokkan event for Super Saiyan Blue Kaka and Goku will be available every single day during the campaign. Makes sense. And also the uh, Dokkan event for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as well will be available every single day during the campaign. Uh, we have the return of the Gohan and Videl event, return of the Raditz event, and that looks like all of it. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it, but I mean, that's like a fair amount of stuff, man. That is actually like a pretty big celebration um, for one that's like not significant, I guess. Like, it's, it's not like a huge like dual dual fest or not an anniversary or anything like that. So for a regular celebration, I think this is actually a pretty crazy amount of stuff. And uh, I do look forward to, you know, providing videos and content for you guys on all of it. So uh, stay tuned for that. And that's all I got to say in today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it informative in some way. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Till next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.